every Wednesday, Wired ADTV. Normally we start at 1 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes I'm five minutes late. Just getting everything set up and uh, yep, we'll put up the video on the computer as usual. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's a pretty nice day in Montreal. It might rain, but we're not 100% sure. I'm just going to pull the video up here so I can see you guys, your comments as you're hopping on. And today we're going to make some rings. So that's going to be fun. Hey, Amber, how are you? You're the first one on. Just going to open up the page a little bit here. Perfect. So I should probably find the ring that we're going to be doing today. Hey, Deb. Nice to see you. Hey, Ralph from Sweden. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so today I'm going to make this little ring that I showed you guys the last time. It's like just a basic little wire wound ring with little um, uh, little roses on it. So we're ha Ooh, having lots more people. BG, hello, hello, Jerry, Melissa. Nice, Julia, fantastic, and Ruth. Wow, lots of people. Oh, and it's a sunny evening in UK. That's fantastic. And Robin, hi Robin, hi Maria. Nice to see everybody. And Lily, Cece, my eyesight's not great. I'm looking at the screen from far away here. So did I say hi to Melissa? Hey, Julie, it's been a long time. Wow, so many people hopping on. Jessica, so yeah, so today I did a whole bunch of sketches for rings and we'll see what we get done of it. Um, I let my imagination go a little bit wild. We'll see what we're gonna do. We're gonna play around with things and see how it goes. So um, Melissa's in, is that Georgia? Cool, nice. And Maria, hi Maria, hey Kathy, nice. And you made the live, you sure did. And Verdella, hello, hello. So let me flip the screen and we're gonna get started right away. Don't wanna waste any time and Let's do that. And perfect. So there's our front lawn there. And hi, Kiara from Malaysia. Awesome. And Edie. Wow, lots of people on today. Boy, is it a holiday? There's a lot of people on. So here are my sketches for the rings, and we're going to see how it goes. And um, hi, Hetty from South Africa. Fantastic. And Susan, I finally get to see you during in Michigan. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Um, and if I do miss any of your comments, uh, just just let me know, you know, comment again. And Amber's here to help out with the moderating the comments as well. If you're wondering, Amber is the tree sap girl. So <laughs> Amber, you should really put your name in brackets or something. It's uh, it's okay. We're going to get to know everybody's usernames and stuff. So uh, so here are the sketches. I'll start with this one just because this is the one that I, I was going to do a tutorial for this. And I said, well, why don't I just do it on the live? It's going to be much easier. And I have my 22 gauge wire that I'm going to use for this. This is the artistic wire. And, and Ada's here. Hello, hello. And GMZ BLK from Turkey. Woo, nice. I've been to Turkey. I've been to Istanbul. So that's so super fun. I'm going to use my new tools. These ones are from Zuron. I did a, re a little review of the Zuron tools in a previous video. Uh, Ginger connected me with that brand and they very graciously sent me a bunch of tools. I only forgot to ask them for some cutters. Uh, they gave me some wonderful double flush cutters, which are great, but I also use these um, uh, these kind of pointy nose flush cutters as well. So these are the beetle on ones, which are really good cutters as well. I use them a lot. So there we go. Eternity Journey. Hello from South Carolina. Nice. And Verdella, did I, I think I said hi, Verdella. Now, where can you get some wire? So wire I buy, a, and Julie loves Zuron, cool. So yeah, they're so soft, eh? these handles, it's really wild. So um, the wire I usually buy from um, Amazon, or I have a Michaels nearby, so sometimes I buy it at Michaels. Uh, the Artistic Wire Company sent me a whole bunch of this amazing wire, so I have all kinds of wire here. Uh, they're one of my sponsors, and, um, and for my upcoming... Uh, live wires for the win and they've actually donated a $500 uh, dollar, uh, grand prize for that competition which is coming up uh, starting in August and September so details are in some of the previous videos for that and now let's just cut a big long piece of wire why don't I just measure it to be sure I think maybe 18 inches should be enough so we're just going to pull that out and do about 18 inches of the 22 gauge wire 
and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's long enough. And I actually, like, I don't have to get into the pointy edge with that. So I could just use the double flush cutters. Trouble with these pliers is they're all, they all look the same. They have the same handle. So I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get used to um, these, these tools because they all look the same to me, but that's, it's all good. I'll get used to them. So here is our wire. And basically all I'm gonna do is bunch of like rounds around the ring cone. Uh, you could do three or four, however many you want. And we're just gonna go around the ring cone at the level that you want. Now, if you don't have a ring cone, of course, you can use a marker, that's not a problem. Uh, so let's go around, I guess, um, four times should be good. So we're just gonna go around, Just it'll just make it wider. You could even do this with a um, uh, thicker wire if you want, but I just wanted to do it with the thinner wire so the roses are a little bit more delicate. Now I'm hoping these are going to be long enough. If if you don't think your band is going to be long enough or the wire is going to be long enough, just pull it back and just do three rounds. That's totally fine too. Not a problem. Can you use florist wire? Well, the trouble with florist wires is I'm not sure how great it is to be against your skin, but you could use florist wire for other things like decorations or even pendants I guess wouldn't be too bad but with the ring being against your skin uh, I would advise uh, actually you usually I use the artistic wire for my samples but if I was selling rings I would use the sterling or argentian silver um, just just that's a personal preference but I don't sell rings so I really uh, you know maybe people that are selling their rings could let you know what kind of wire they prefer hi ginger how are you a uh, difference between uh, copper and aluminum. So aluminum is a much lighter weight. It doesn't uh, tarnish like, or it doesn't like oxidize like copper does, but it's not, it's much more fragile. Like it's, I use aluminum wire for most of my uh, jewelry because I use surgical steel hooks. I like it, they're very, it's very lightweight and it doesn't change color. And we also use aluminum wire for our ornaments and stuff. So that's just a personal preference, but uh, you know, it's totally up to you which one, uh, which kind of wire you wanna use. It depends on what you're, what you're doing. So create with Shorty, hello, hello, nice to see you. So, um, when will you teach us how to make wedding rings? Well, I'm not sure these are suitable for wedding rings. It depends on the type of wedding you have, but if you want like a uh, high-end wedding rings and stuff, you probably wanna go into more like casting and things like this. I just work with wire. I don't do any soldering, any casting, anything like that. So you probably would want to do, um, you, could even, you could even look up on YouTube if there are other people that make wedding rings for sure. So Moscato Creations Crafts, hello, hello, and hi Bernice, hi Rita. There we go. So now to do the, the I have other tutorials making roses. You can make them in any style you want. This, I'm just going to show you how to do like this basic kind of shape right here. So basically what you would do is just take the wire and then just wind it around and just do kind of like spiral type things. Like for now, I'm just going to do one that's super simple and you can always experiment. So like if you do one, I would start with maybe a big one, like a larger size one, and you could just try to make these curves even a little bit uneven. We're going to get that one in here. And then basically to make the next flower, you just go around the other way. So just push it around the other way and then you can do these kind of like this here. So we could even try after where we do the flowers like first and then attach them after. But basically we're just going to, it almost looks like a chaos type of wrap, but it's um, a little bit different because we're trying to make the flowers somewhat defined. So I'm pulling the wires a little bit tight. Sometimes if you work with a longer wire, then you're gonna have a little bit more give to it. So some of them I want to be small and some of them I want to be big. So if you want small, just do a couple of rounds and then this one here, and we're gonna do it around here. And I, I am gonna experiment after with doing, maybe even using some other wires and stuff. I cut my wire maybe a little bit, a little bit small, so it's a little tricky to hold, but that's the idea. You know, you just do a bunch of spirals and then we want to stack these three wires again and then wrap it around. So let's just take this. I'm going to grab my um, needle nose pliers here 
and FSB Walla. Hello, hello. Oh, it's Mustafa. Of course it's Mustafa. You're using your mom's phone. So I keep getting um, mixed up with your, when you use your mom's phone, it's a different uh, username. So welcome, Mustafa. Thank, good thing you're here. So are we missing anyone? Chiara, uh, missing, uh, I think maybe <laughs> everybody's saying hi to each other, which is great. Fantastic. I wish I had like two sets of eyes and then I could look at this and I can look at your comments at the same time. So now we've just done this. I'm going to get my pointy cutters to get in there to, to trim that a little bit. And I'm hoping that next week I'm going to have a better video quality because I've actually ordered a, an, at an attachment to my Canon camera so I could stream from my Canon camera. So look forward to that, that the quality should be a little bit better, uh, hopefully next week. So now we've got these. I'm wondering if this wire I use for this one, it looks thicker. Maybe I use the 20 gauge wire for that. I'm not even sure now. So, and then we're just going to go in and do like these roses on the other side. So then you can go in make them as large or as small as you want. And we're just going to keep like twisting one way and the other, around and around. And then once you've run out of wire, I only used 18 inches. What I'm thinking is I probably should have used a larger piece because it's a little bit hard to manipulate and it's not as full as I would have liked it to be. But this just shows you guys the technique. And then I'm going to show you the, compare it with the one I previously made just to get an idea. So now basically you just do your like little uh, wind around and then you twist these little shapes to be the roses. So now we're going to put it back on the ring and keep in mind when you twist the wires in, it's going to get a little bit smaller. Oh, my thing is, oh, my thing is not charging. Let me just double check this, that my my uh, iPod is not charging. So hopefully it is charging now. Let me just unplug it and plug it again. And hopefully we're good for the charger because I just got an, a thing that my thing, if it, if it dies, I'll start a new live stream, but we should be okay. So uh, Spirals and Spice, hello, and San Taylor, hello. A good size when selling. I don't sell rings, so if anybody can answer that question uh, for a good size for selling rings, I would say like a medium size. I don't know if seven is a medium size, but you guys can let me know. So this is this, is this one, um, but I think the original sample I made is better. This one, I'm, I cut the wire longer, and I even think it's... I think I use the 20 gauge wire. So use the same technique, use a 20 gauge wire. It's a little thicker. As long as it's soft, it should be good. Uh, Karen says it was frozen for a minute. Hi, Karen. Um, I just hope my iPod doesn't die because it wasn't charging properly, but we should be okay. Okay, Ashley, you know what I could do? I'm gonna plug it into my computer and then for sure it's gonna ch charge. Okay, so we should be good with that. So, oh, I just lost. I just lost the page. So let me find the page. I just plugged the iPod into the computer. So I think we're going to be better. Okay, cool. I don't want to look. Focus is blurry. Yeah, the focus is always blurry on this because I'm streaming from my iPod and I'm hoping next week we're going to have a better quality. So there we go. A lot of size seven rings. That's what I thought. I wasn't too sure. Hi, Galen. How you doing? So now these are some other ideas I had to do rings. This one is really wacky. I'm not even sure that's going to work, but I'm going to try something like that just because I thought it was a really interesting idea. So for that, what I'm going to do is get a slightly larger round form. This is where I spin off into like trying all kinds of different stuff and we see if it works or not. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to get maybe 18 gauge wire and we're going to see what that's going to do. So you guys, this is where you guys just bear with me while I try a bunch of stuff and uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And that's the fun thing about the live streams is we never know when it's gonna work or not. Oh, those are round nose. See, I'm getting mixed up with my pliers because I'm not used to these new Zeron tire pliers. They all look the same with the uh, blue handles, but maybe I'll mark them so I can know which one is which. So there we go. So Sweetcraft, hello, hello. Spires and Spice, hello everybody. Hey, six for women and eight and a half for men. Okay, that's good to know, thank you. 
So there we go. So let's get the, let's just get a pill form. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want all of these loops to be the same size. So we're just going to bring this one around. This actually might be too large. This is where you have to experiment with what you've got, right? So we're going to bring this one around. I don't want to use the ring cone because the, the, the loops will be different sizes, but this way they'll all be the same size. So we're going to do this. Love to see your thought process. Oh, thanks so much, Karen. I really enjoy it. And like, I could do this on my own. I could just like not live stream it and do it on my own and troubleshoot. But I love doing this live because you guys always have such an amazing ideas. And you're very patient with me. So that's awesome. So now this is where the double flush cutters come in, which are going to be really handy. Apparently they're really good for um, jump rings as well. But if we do this, we hold this. And then we want it like cut in the same position. So we're just going to come around here and cut them at the same position. And then both ends are flush. So that's super cool. These were something I'd never heard of before. So these are double flush cutters. And let's just make sure that one's, an, that one's bigger, I think. Let's just make sure they are all the same size. Maybe not that one. Was it this one? No, that one's too short. That's why these ones are all the same size, I think. I am lost track of which is which. So now we have these rings that are the same size, but they might be too big. So we're going to see how I do with this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the round pliers. And then what I would do is just, this is like the design for my rings to make and sell. And uh, it's a fun design because it's basically just a ring band and then you do the loop and then you put a bead in between. So we're just going to do these loops, flip it over and do this loop here. And then we're going to make four like this. My loops might be a little bit big. See, these are these rings. This is going to be too big, this ring. That's going to be way too big. OK, forget that. So let's try it on another thing. Is this smaller? Okay, let's try it on the highlighter. Uh, maybe I can recoup these, or I'll recoup these later. I'm going to try it again. So this is where you live and learn. And now I'm going to pull this one. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Nice to see you on the live stream. So now I'm going to pull out a piece of this one, and we're going to try that again. So take this out. Cut it longer than I think I need. And instead of winding it around the pill bottle, Let's wind it around here. So let's do this. And hi, Angie. We're going to go around here and do the same thing we just did, but it's going to be slightly smaller. So there we go. We're going to bring this one around. And like I said, this is exactly like the design for the rings to make and sell, which is sort of a classic design that we sold on the streets of Montreal in the 90s. And, uh, and so if you want to do like a super simple a ring uh, to sell, uh, check out that video for sure. So we're going to just clip that and then we're going to go up and clip all of these in the same position. So I just have to get used to using these. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so now we have all these the same size and we're going to get, oh, Mustafa's back, yay! So there we go. Now we're going to twist the ends here. So let's do this. First time watching you live. Awesome, Patricia. That's fantastic. I usually go live every Wednesday around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Sometimes I'm five minutes late, but I like this seems to be a good time. I used to do them in the evening, but then it wasn't good for people overseas. So this seems to be a good time for everyone, which is really great. So now this is sort of the beginning point for that uh, when you do the rings to make and sell, you just put a bead and put the wires through the ends. So this might even, these might even be too small now. So it's a really fine balance to see uh, what size, you know, to make the loops. So we're just going to go like that. We're going to set all of these up. This might be a complete fail because it's sometimes these ideas look better in your head than when they do in person. So we're going to try it and see uh, how it works. So we're just going to do all these loops. Uh, hi, Rita. New here learning. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, and Lisa has not seen that live show. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's I've been doing these live shows for 
I think three years now and pretty consistently, which is really cool. And they're really, really fun. And it's actually amazing in the three years, I actually haven't upgraded my quality of the filming, but that's my goal for next week is to, I've ordered on Amazon an adapter for my DSLR camera. So I'll be able to live stream with better quality. So look forward to that next week and let's hope that it works. So now we're going to get our flat pliers and fix these up. Love to see the tutorials, awesome. So let's just fix these ones up a little bit. So that's gonna be the beginning point for the ring. So you could actually, when you make the rings to, to make and sell, you, you would make a whole bunch of these and then, and then uh, put the beads on all at the same time. So that's like mass production. If you wanna mass produce very simple rings, uh, this is the easiest way to do it. But for today, I'm just experimenting with something, a different design, and it might or might not work. So the idea would be, I mean, I'm gonna put it on the ring cone, although I don't really want them all to be different sizes, but just to, just to have an idea if this is even gonna go anywhere, this idea, because I'm not really sure. Like, I kind of like the way it looks like the three of them, like that, and then if we did another one like that, but my idea, and we'll see if it's gonna work, would be to like, crisscross them with wires, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So let's try it. Let's see if it's gonna work. So Sharif, hello. And uh, is there Krista? Krista's way up there. Hello, hello. Nice. So let's get some maybe 24 gauge wire. Let me see what I have. And uh, let's see what color I wanna use. That's 24. That might be a little bit fragile and thin but we could try, let's try the 24. I'd rather go with the thinner wire when I'm not sure how this is going to work. And then we'll go from there. So Shreve, how are you? All good here, yeah. So now, this is probably a ridiculous idea. I don't even know if this is gonna work or not. Maybe we should put it actually on the highlighter. That might be a better way to do it. So let's put that on here. We're just gonna bring that one up here. Maybe I'll put this on here first. So that one there, that one there. So you guys have the benefit because I try these ideas and if they work, you guys can try it. And if they don't work, you can scrap it. So let's just do this. Uh, this might be too small. Yeah, these are, yeah, I want it tighter than that. So let me put it on a smaller marker or something. Let's just see this and that's good to go, that's too thin. It's like a corset, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly like a corset. And I wanted to show you guys another ring that I had made previously in a jewelry making class, but I will show you after, because I'm gonna get this started now. And I think 24 is just about perfect. Yeah, yeah, not smaller than 24, because it's gonna be way too fragile. So let's just take this one and let's put the other one. You almost wanna put like beading wire or something like super flexible because I really don't know if this is gonna work or not. So say we put this one into here. Okay, we're gonna put that one into here. And then if you guys try this and come up with other solutions that are gonna be interesting, you definitely let me know. Okay, this is all buckling up here. So we're gonna go put that one in here. Okay, pull that one through here. It's getting a little bit kinked, but we don't know until we try, right? So we're gonna go here and here, and this one, yeah, I think this might or might not work, but I have another idea that I'm gonna do after with a uh, metal sheet. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. So let's bring these ones in here and here. It's kind of funky. We're gonna see how it's gonna go. Let me just pull these edges a little bit. I'm gonna trim one of these ends, here and hi Nan hi first time here awesome wow we have a lot of people that are here for the first time I love that that's fantastic it's uh, and if you want if you enjoy this it's it's a little bit crazy sometimes because I don't always get a chance to like see all the comments and and reply to everybody but it's fun because you guys can see me just troubleshooting these ideas that pop in my head. So now we're just gonna like pull this in here, bring that one to that side. 
and this is a, an idea I really would like to pursue. So we're just going to keep going with this, pull this out a little bit. It's kind of interesting. It might be a little lopsided. And just seeing how this is going, if we're going to tighten it up. And then we'll put one more. Like if, with three, it's not too bad, actually. You could almost stop at three. Maybe I would stop at three, but I'm going to try another one. Love your works, Heather, big fan. Yay, thank you. Perfect. And is that Janelle coming in? Awesome. Perfect. Hi, Janelle. And now we're going to bring this one in here, put that one through there. And then that'll be, we're going to see how we're going to be able to deal with this. And then after the live stream, you can always hop over to Discord. Maybe Mustafa will put the link to Discord. And that's where we share, I share photos of what uh, work I've done on the live stream. And if you guys want to share things you're working on, on Discord, uh, you can go to the post live stream sections if you're working on stuff uh, from the live stream. And there's also a share your work section where you can share your other wire art and jewelry. So now let me just pull this one a little bit tighter. So, so far we have this type of thing. I'm going to see how we can pull it a little bit tighter and if it's going to work. So we're going to just gradually try to tighten this up a little bit. Yeah, this, this wire does get a little bit kinked, so it might be a little bit tricky. And the ring cone maybe isn't the best either. I think what I have to do is grab this with the flat pliers, pull it in a little bit, and I might even have to remove it from the ring cone. Let me just see what this is doing. Yeah, this is doing funny stuff, but we might be able to do something with this. I definitely like the idea. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work. Yeah, we kind of have to re re remove it from the ring cone to bring that one back in. And we might be even able to go back into it. I'm not 100% sure, like this is really wacky. We're gonna see what it's going to do. So, uh, have you checked other videos? Okay, what was that for? Letter rings, yes, I have lots of letter rings for sure. Um, yeah, one video with all the capital letters, which is really fun. And I've also made them out of um, paper clips, which is fun. So yeah, so this is getting a little bit mangled. We're going to try to separate this a little bit. This, uh, I definitely think I'm going to work on the idea for this because I'm really not quite sure what this is doing. I think it's even better, maybe not with that many, with that, not that many rings. So let's remove one. Okay, I'm going to just remove the one, I think. You know what I could do is just... See, you guys can see what it looks like with four, but let's remove one of these and just try to work with the three. I think it's going to be easier. So we're going to remove that. I'm going to remove that one. Hopefully my hands are staying on there. So it's kind of nicer with three anyways. It's a little more... I'm just wondering how we're going to manage this in a way that it's going to work. So let's remove this. Okay, let's remove this. And now I'm gonna wind the end around here just to get rid of the end. So we're gonna go around here, wind it around a few times, and then I'm gonna try something else uh, with a metal piece. And I will show you a ring that I made in a jewelry class. I've only ever taken one jewelry making class and that was at a art school in Montreal called the Montreal Art Center and they offered a jewelry making class so I took like you learned how to solder and, and saw and all that kind of thing so we made a ring and um, but that's the only time I've ever done a course like that and it's very uh, you need a lot of equipment for that type of jewelry making so I didn't really want to invest in so much equipment for that so uh, now, Karen said, uh, I'm missing something from Karen, a graduated ring mandrel so you get the same size. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, if you find a link to that, please uh, send it my way. Uh, it's because I don't really make a lot of rings and I certainly don't sell rings. So I don't, you know, have super um, sophisticated equipment, but... Uh, it'd be great to know like where to get some equipment if you guys are interested. So yeah, anytime you guys want to share stuff like that, that would be great. So this is first attempt at a corset ring and it's super wonky, 
but that's kind of the idea like that, but it's, it's, I would say that's all over the map. Maybe we can even see what happens if we add an extra wire. So I'm just out of curiosity because I've got nothing to lose at this point. Let's go ahead and see if we can start at the bottom this time and work our way up and see. I don't think that's going to make much difference, but let's see what we can do here. So if we just start here, if we're going to double up the laces, I don't know if it's a good idea, but we may as well try. So if we go there and we double up the laces, we go that down that way, bring that one in here, and then this one, bring that one in here. And yeah, this is probably going to be a super hot mess, but that's okay. And then we're going to bring this one out here. And then I'm going to try something else after this. We're going to bring this one up here and then this one up here. Whoop, there you go. Oh boy, this is getting like super tangled up. Yeah, see, sometimes the wire will like kink up like that. So we're just going to bring that there. So this, yeah, now there's like way too much, way too much wire in there, but it's, it's actually kind of interesting. I don't mind it like that. There's tons of wire, but it looks kind of cool. And then that way you can take this end and wind it around here. So we're going to take this end and I'm definitely going to pursue like experimenting with other designs for this. But for now, we're just going to go with this and see how it looks. So now we're going to clip that here and Pipea, hello, hello. Uh, is it a different wire? This is 24 gauge wire that I'm using for the wrap. Hey Clarice, how are you? Clarice has got her coffee, nice. Uh, hot mess is creativity, exactly. Yeah, nothing wrong with a hot mess, that's for sure. So there we go, we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna pinch the ends in a little bit. So let's put it back on the ring cone see what it's doing. Yeah, I think this has some potential. This is interesting. And, but the other, actually I'll, I'll whoa, that is a hot mess, but it's kind of cool. So the other thing I'm going to do is, this was the other way I thought of doing it was just with one piece of wire. So let's try it that way. And I think it's gonna be better than doing the three separate rings. So let's try that one that way and see how it goes. So, hey Cassia, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Let me get, let's try for the 18 gauge wire again. So I'm going to pull this one out. This is the 18 gauge artistic wire. Take a good long piece. Oh, those aren't the cutters. So we're going to get that one. And now we are going to start by doing some little circles. So here's the looping pliers, the little round, uh, round nose pliers. So what you can do actually is maybe we'll just see if we could start it right from the end. I'm just, just let me think for a sec. Mm -mm, do you want to end in the middle, end up there? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to, uh, let me try this. Okay, so let me cut this. All these pliers are confusing me. They all look the same. So cut this flush. And we're going to take this one. Hi, Maria. That's a hot mess, but kind of cool. <laughs> Said every artist everywhere. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I should definitely write that one down. So that would make a good meme, I think. My, my comic community would love that one. So let's just bring this one around and close that one up. And then we're going to do our loops. So there's one. We're gonna bring this one down. Now the question is how close together we wanna make these. So maybe not too far apart and not too close together. So we're gonna do that one. And question is, do I wanna do, yeah, I think I'm gonna do all four. So we're gonna go around here, there, and then we'll do another one. Okay, these are getting tangled up in my wind chime that's right above my computer. So I just moved that over a little bit and we're gonna do this one here and bring this one around. So there we have the beginning point. And then the idea would be to bring this one around here. And I think it would help to like tap this with a hammer 
at some point. But for now, we're just going to go like this. And then if we bring this one around, bring this one around here to whatever size you want, and then you decide where you want the other side to be. So say we want to put it like here type of thing. So now I'm going to take this one and bring this one. But I'm thinking I should maybe do these loops to the back, but that might be tricky. But if you want to put the loops to the back, just open up your ring a little bit and then it's going to be easier. Because if you want them kind of somewhat symmetrical, maybe you want these loops to go to the back. So then they're going to be the same as the other ones. So hi, Ashita. Hey, Tish, how are you? And uh, now we're going to take this one, do a little loop, and bring our way up to the top. So if, it, if you need to push them together a little bit more, just get your flat pliers. And now we're going to do the four uh, loops up towards the top. So let's just keep going up. Am I doing this the right way? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, hang on. These are supposed to go up. Okay, I did this wrong after all. These are supposed to go, wait a minute. Um, these are supposed, okay, I'm on the wrong side after all. How did that happen? So I'm gonna just pull this back then, because in that case, we don't need to do it like that. So let's just bring this back. I hope we're not gonna, I hope it's not gonna get bent. Sometimes when you bend it too much, it's gonna get like, it's gonna break, but we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I don't know how that happened. Sometimes you think something's going to do one thing and then it does another. So if we put that, yeah, we want to go these to go to the front. Okay, that's weird. So we're going to bring this one up here and then just keep bringing these up towards the top. So bring these around, press it together a little bit more and just bring these all the way up. Okay, let's just check these. I think it's fine. So we're gonna bring these all the way up. We're gonna do four loops. Okay, now, and yeah, it's it's weird eh, when that happens that you you think the wire is doing one thing, going one direction, and then it doesn't do what you think. And that's why uh, with a lot of the designs that I sort of established for um, my Etsy shop and stuff, like if it's something I know I'm gonna have to repeat over and over and again, I'll do a diagram with arrows telling me which way the wire goes because if not, I'm gonna forget and it's gonna just be very, very complicated. So uh, yeah, so I usually do all kinds of like arrows and measurements and all kinds of things so I remember how to do uh, things. Uh, otherwise it's, yeah, it's really, it's hard on the brain. So now we've got those uh, ones and then the idea now would be I thought about just ending it there, but let's just see how we're gonna do. So we're gonna bring this one around here. And, hey James, you love to make jewelry. I'm just a beginner, awesome. Well, I have a lot of beginner uh, projects on my channel. Uh, this is definitely a very complex design because I haven't even ever done it before. So that's how complex it is. And we're gonna see if it's going to work. And often on the live streams, I'll come with an idea, I'll work on it, it might or might not work, but then I might revisit it later and it'll work. So we're gonna see. So we're gonna get this one going here and then I'm gonna bring it around this side. So um, a beginner too. Yeah, a lot of a lot of beginners are here, which is which is great. Yeah, we can share ideas, work things out together. So now this is the idea to have like something like this at the front. I think these have to be just adjusted a little bit more, maybe with the flat pliers. Just going to get this because you want to get this somewhat straight too. And you could, like I said, you can tap it with a hammer if you want, but this is really just an opportunity to work out the design and see what happens. So now we have this. So let's put it on here. Natri, hello. Just join now. Awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. I lost the last bit of that word. <laughs> Same fine. Fantastic. And my mouth just stopped. That was weird. So now we're going to bring this one around here. 
and we want to make the bands. So this is how it would look at the back. And, oh, you're so sweet, Mustafa. Um, don't speak too soon because this might not work, but that's okay. I, I really appreciate it. So if we do something like this, it might not quite be, it might be a little big, but this is just, we're just working out the design. So we've got this. Maybe it's going to be better to put it on the highlighter or get one of those uh, ring cones that you said Matt has one of those ring cones. So maybe I can ask Matt about that ring cone uh, and see what he says, or I could Google it and see if we, I forget what you call it, the ring cone, but it's one that has areas that are all the same. Um, uh, it must be like, actually, it must be a lot like this which are the bail pliers, but it would be for a ring, right? So you have sections for each size. That's what I need. I definitely need that. So I'm going to see if I can find that on um, Amazon. Perfect. So we have Carol, Carol put a ribbon through the holes. Ribbon would be super cool, and a ribbon would be less um, hard to, like it would kink less than a... Um, than the wires. So I like that idea of doing a ribbon. That's a good idea. Um, I don't have any ribbon on me, but for now, I was thinking also maybe the beading wire is more flexible, but I'm not sure how you would attach that. So let's just try with the wire again. So I'm doing another loop here just to finish it off and I'll stack it under that loop and see how that goes. So let's do that. And at Joann's and not there anymore. Okay, well, sadly, we don't have Joann's in Canada, but we have Michael's that's very similar. And I have Amazon Prime, so I have uh, I can always order stuff like that on Amazon. So this looks like it has five rounds, but once you put stack it underneath, it's going to be four. So this is sort of what we have so far. I bet you could weave that. All the wire weav weavers out there could do some weaving. That would be cool. I'm going to grab a sip of water and before I go further with the stringing it with wire I'm going to show you this one which is one I made in a jewelry making class many years ago so this is metal a metal sheet that we sawed and I guess I soldered it together at some point I don't know how that worked oh I guess there's the seam at the back so I soldered it there and then I cut out a hole and poked these little holes and did some crochet inside the ring. So this one's super, super cool. And um, yeah, I'll definitely try to do something else with some sheet metal too. Uh, Jessica, new subscriber here. My daughter is starting to work with wire. Woo, awesome. Oh, well, I have probably over 60, I have probably over 60 um, ring making tutorials. So there's lots on my channel. So um, love your Amazon suggestion from Heather Boyd on Amazon, if not clear. Oh, thank you. So now let's see if we can do a little um, crisscross thing on there too. So I do have thinner 20. Oh, that's 28. That's really thin. But maybe what I could do is try the 26, which is a little thinner. That's 24. I think 26 is even going to be too thin. Let's try 24. I'm going to try purple. So I've got the purple one here. We're going to try some 24 gauge purple wire and see uh, what we're going to do here. There we go. So now the square knot would look good. Okay, so where do you mean the square knot? Do you mean in this one or this one? Uh, just let me know what, what you mean. I'm not 100% sure. So now let's go ahead and put these wires through here and see if it's going to work. So there we go. Yeah, purple's so pretty. I know Amber likes purple. So now we're going to take this one and put this one through the holes and see if it's going to work. So we're going to go over there, bring that one to the back, and then this one over here to the back. I should probably have made my holes a little bigger maybe. We're going to get the pliers. Let's actually get our fancy wancy curved nose pliers because I haven't used these yet. So this is cool. Let's you can use that for those. Bring that one in there. Okay. And then we're going to bring that one through here. Now, do we bring it up to the front? That's what I'm wondering. I think maybe we bring it to the front. It's like I forget how to tie my shoes, right? How to, how to, how to string shoelace 
in a shoe. So now it's the same concept. We're gonna pull this one, okay? And then this one too, let's bring it to the front. I think it's gonna be better. And then put that one through and we can get our little fancy pliers. So there we go, kind of neat. And then we're gonna bring this one to the front. Now we're gonna to have to go through both of those loops here. So put that one underneath, stick that one through here, okay? And pull it, okay, there. And then this one too, we're gonna to take this. I'm kind of liking this one. I'm finding it really interesting. We're gonna pull that one there. So now we do have, it's a little wonky, but we have the crisscross there. So purple's my favorite color, nice. Embroidery floss, now there's an idea, Mustafa. I like that idea, we're getting somewhere with this. Uh, so these are like a little bit wonky. This is definitely much better than the design with the separate bands. I think I didn't do this super evenly, or maybe I did. I'm just gonna have to push this one down like if you there so there we have our crisscrosses there that's good so we have that and then the question of i guess is what you do what you'll do with the ends because you could bring them in and do like a little bow thing but i don't know if you want to do that and wait i'm just trying to see what this one is doing that one's going hmm i'm not sure what that one's doing but i guess what you could do is just take these and put them back through the loops maybe to finish it off. I mean, that's, you're gonna have to experiment with what you wanna do with the ends. So we're gonna just take this one and pull it. So I'm gonna pull this one quite snugly. And then this one too, let's just take this one and pull it through here. Hi, Emily. Like a corset, exactly, yes, exactly. It's like a corset. And I'm thinking maybe, you know, you could do some weaving or something else in there. But this is sort of the general idea. I'm not sure I like the way that I did those to finish the ends there. But for now, I think for the sake of just finishing the design, we'll just do that. I'm gonna clip one and then we're gonna clip the other one. Try not to clip through all the wires. And what I'm gonna do now is just take my needle nose ones, macrame thread, there's an idea too. And let's just pull these ends in a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like warbled that one a bit. And put it back on the ring cone. And you know, I think the concept is good. I think the basic concept is good. I think doing something with that might be interesting. It's certainly better than the first one, which was a bit of a mess, but it's, there, that one fits on there. So that's interesting, like that. And then this one, we've got that one there. So, perfect. So this one's really wonky, but this one's better. But, and, but I don't, I'm not sure I like that emptiness of the of the ring there. I think you could probably do some weaving or beading what might be cool. I wonder if you could put some beads in there. Wow, that might be over the top, but that could be really interesting if you just put a bunch of like beads in there. I think that would be really cool. I don't have too many beads on me. Let me just see what I have for beads. I don't think I have too many on me. I have these beads. But wouldn't that be interesting to put like, I don't know if we can get an idea of how it would look, but if you had, whoa, this is not gonna really give you an idea, but the, like, just imagine there was like beads in there. We might be able to do something like that, but I think for now I'm gonna leave that one. And then I'm gonna try one more thing, just, to, just cause I wanted to try this other idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work or not, which would be to get the metal and cut a thing, bead in the middle would be really nice. Yes, would be very nice. And I was thinking to try to like put the flowers in there, but I'm not sure how that would work. Now, what I wanted to try was something with the metal, but I really honestly am not sure this is gonna work at all. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of the metal, cut it straight across. Okay, and then we wouldn't want it very big. So maybe what I'll do is I would do like, cut this a little bit. I'm just gonna round this edge a little bit here. And I'm just gonna see if it's even possible to poke holes in this. I'm not really sure. So if we got this 
and we poked a few holes. So we start one here. This is from the metal stamping company, the Bejucation uh, company. So you probably would want to measure it out first. These maybe are a little too far apart, but maybe not. So if we go like that, and then one more. So say we do like that, okay? So this is an idea. I mean, you're gonna, you would need more professional jewelry making uh, tools to do a design like this, but I like the idea. So if we're gonna bring this one across and down here, try to get them a good size. Bring this one around here. And then the idea would be you also want to like curve the edge a little bit. And you know, these are this is gonna be sharp. You'd have to file it, but I like that idea. Like you have something like this, and then you wind it around a round form. It'd be cool if you do like some embossing and different types of things. But say you did something like this, bring that one around here. You don't want it too big either. So maybe just cut it straight up here. Okay, we're just gonna cut it straight up. This is just embossing metal. So uh, yeah, rewatch how you shape the ring. Yes, yeah, for sure. Uh, beads on the side. I think beads on the side would be good. I will put leather, ooh, leather would be cool. Yeah, actually, yeah, you could do like a, le could you make the ring out of leather? That would be interesting. Yeah, so now we've just, I've just rounded the sides and we're gonna try to get these somewhat even. That's the trouble is to space these in a way that they're even. I probably should have put like little dots on there first. If you put little Sharpie dots on there, you would be able to get them a little bit more even, but this isn't too bad. It's not the best, but I should have spaced them a little bit more. So that's pretty good. I wonder if these are the same height. Let's just see. So if we bring this one to here and to here, yeah, you know what? I won't adjust it too much. I'm gonna just leave it like that. And then what I wanna do is get a smaller, round form a choker ooh nice yes so there we go so let's bring this one around here wind it around a little bit and i think what you would want to do though would be to get a file and to file down those little sharp ends um i have a little file here but uh, yeah, if you have like a Dremel or something in a file, you would definitely want to get these edges to like file them down and stuff as well. I mean, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to worry too much about it, but you would definitely want to file some of those edges. So say we have something like this. And um, what I did with this one was more like a crochet thing. That would actually be... Maybe I should do something like that. That would be more interesting. And in that case, this shouldn't be so big. So let me, tr I'm gonna tr actually trim this a little bit more because I'm not, I wasn't really happy with my holes anyways. So let's just trim this a little bit more. And I'm gonna trim these ends a, get a bit more just around here. I'm gonna try with the crochet because that's a really cool effect. And I would need a thinner wire, so I'll use the 28 gauge wire for that. So let's go ahead and poke these holes again, get them in there. So about there, and another one, and yeah, I would mark these out with Sharpie first, but for the sake of this live stream, I'm just gonna wing it. So we're gonna go here. Perfect. Yeah, so they're not perfect, but they're all right. So now I have this uh, 28 gauge wire that I'm going to use for the crochet and I have a little crochet hook. Let me move these out of the way, what I've already done. Um, just move this out of the way. And I'm missing some comments. So bye Maria, thanks for hopping on. Perfect. Chokers like that. So chokers with the like the corset thing. I think that's a good idea. So here's to do the crochet. Like I think what I did with this was I just kind of 
crocheted it and got it in the holes like that. I made this so long ago, I do not remember how I did it. So let's just go ahead and try this and we'll see if it's going to work. So we're gonna take this one and if you guys have never crocheted wire, you can do it with 28 gauge wire. So the idea would be, we'll just do like a little loop thing. But honestly, I do not remember how I did that. So maybe what I did was I crocheted it first and then I probably added it after. I think that's probably what I did. So let's just do a little bit of crochet. You could add beads into your crochet as well if you want. So I'm just gonna go maybe do like four of these and then I'm gonna go back into them. This is how I crochet wire and so I'm just gonna go back into it and then I do the hook and then I'll bring this one around here and then bring it through the two loops, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll go to, to this loop Get it in there. I haven't crocheted wire in so long. And, and I had this crochet this wire out because my friend Bibi uh, wanted me to make a pair of uh, crocheted heart earrings for her friends. So I will definitely have to do that soon because it was for a friend that moved away and we have to mail them. So I'm gonna have to do that. So I'm just gonna make a little blob of crochet basically. It's like no rhyme or reason. I'm just trying to get like a nice little blob here and then I'm gonna go back that way I guess so now I'll flip it and go back the other way so now we're gonna take this one in here and the other crochet thing that I saw recently was um, uh, my friend sent me a little crocheted heart that was just made out of um, Fentex wool you know just regular wool and it was a, a lady she sells them on Etsy they're just little crocheted hearts and they're called pocket hugs and they're the cutest little thing I thought they were adorable so my friend sent me one and um and I looked up the lady and it's really cute what she makes she makes these little little pocket hearts and I thought what a nice gesture especially you know these days when people have been really isolated it's nice to have a special gift to give to uh, to give to people so there we go, so we've got that. Now let's see how much, that probably is enough, like if that'll kind of go in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just cut some of this off. I've yet to try crochet, uh, crocheting wire, it's so fun. Yeah, I love crocheted wire. I do a lot of mixed media pieces and like art cards and stuff like that with the crocheted wire, which is really fun. So now, basically what you'll do is you could remove, remove the hook now and just put this end through here. Say, whoop, get in there, you. Get in there. And my intention on this live stream was to make um, more rose rings. So guys, I'll get back to that another time and uh, I'll do a tutorial for that little rose ring because um, it's not really easy to see in the live stream. So uh, I know Amanda really liked that ring. So I'll try to do a tutorial with them to do that one and maybe a couple of the other ideas that I wrote down on the paper. So here's like the little crocheted bit. You could definitely put some beads in there if you want. Yeah, 28 is definitely the easiest one to crochet with. I've tried 26 and it's not fun. So now we're going to add it to this band and see what it does. So we're gonna put that one in here. And, okay, that's gonna go like here. And then we're just, we're basically just gonna sew it in there. So take the next one, okay. It's like sewing with wire. So there we go, put that one in, push that one down. Now I kind of wish this was more textured or even thicker. So I think I'll maybe try to find some thicker metal that I could do that with. I might have to get some better tools to be able to like manipulate it, but um, I definitely like the idea. And I do have a tutorial on my channel how to make just a simple crocheted ring if you wanna check that one out. Uh, just to make a crocheted ring with some little beads and stuff. So basically I'm just sewing this in here. So you can sew anything in there actually. It's kind of cool. So we're just gonna stitch it around and then get this end here. Put the put the wire through. Just sewing, I'm just stitching it in with the same wire that we crocheted with, which is the 28 gauge wire. And then to make it more solid, you might even wanna go through like 
twice. That might be a little bit thin, uh, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't overthink it too much. Well, let's leave it here for now, and then we're going to do the other side. So if we're going to pull this one around here, we can use this end to sew the other side. Okay, um, 28 gauge. Here's a link from Ginger. Okay, cool. So what is the, what's the link for um, uh, Amber? Just let me know what the link's for. I can't, I don't, I can't see, I can't see what it is. So you can just let me know what that's for. And we're gonna bring this one and just stitch in the rest of the crochet bit. So we're gonna go in here, pull that one, put this one through, and then we can always go in a second time if we need to. The ring mandrel, yay, awesome. Hooray, Ginger, she found the ring mandrel. That's awesome. I will definitely have a look at that after because I think that would be super useful, especially for people that are selling rings. I think that's amazing, yay. And I will also link it up in the video uh, itself, in the description of the video after it uh, after it um, streams because that's uh, definitely useful to know. So we're gonna go through here Keep stitching it in place. Whoop, we gotta straighten that wire a little bit. Push that one through here. And then we're gonna one last one to go. We can bring that one on to the top if you like. Perfect. Oh, Mustafa's test tomorrow. Okay, Mustafa, good luck with your test. And uh, maybe we'll see in Discord. I haven't actually checked Discord this week. Sometimes I, I forget. I have too many social media platforms and sometimes I forget. If ever you're trying to get in touch with me and I don't answer on any of my social media platforms, uh, just message me, okay? So, or, or email me is good. So now we've just attached it like one single loop in each hole. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. And I'll go through this one again because you don't want it to fray, right? So we're gonna go through that one again because I wanna make sure it's solid and go through here, push it through and see how that works. Like, I think it actually looks better with a double, double wires in there. So let's go back and go through twice with the, with the 28 gauge wire, mainly because it's very, fragile and I don't want this to be too fragile. Not that I'm really going to wear this because with this metal I think it's not the most uh, the best thing for your skin. I don't know. This is just brass. I think it's it's just embossing metal. I don't I don't think I'd want to wear that as a ring but you could definitely get some metal that's uh, safer to wear. Like you can get sterling silver sheets of metal too so I'm sure it would cost an arm and a leg. But there we go, so we have that one in there, and then we're going to just clip the end. Okay, we'll clip the end, and then we'll be able to push it in a little bit. Uh, won't let you post it. I thought you posted it. Didn't you already post the link, uh, Amber? I thought I saw the link there. Did it disappear? I do not know what happened to that link. Anyways, if you send it to me, I will post it in the description of the video. Uh, I really don't know what happened to that link. That's weird. So now let's go ahead and go back through this one just so we have it through everything through twice and then we're gonna see what it looks like. And I think there's definitely a lot of potential for this ring. I think it's really interesting. It's nice because it's uh, uh, more substantial than the wire one and you can also just do the corset weave up through um, up through these uh, holes as well. If you don't want to crochet, you can just do it the same way we did the corset one. So we're just gonna go up here. I'll just finish this one off and then that one will be done. That was a Canadian link. Okay, cool. Well, I'll try to find the Canadian and the US uh, links for that for Amazon. And then people can always search Amazon as well to find it. Um, I just, I don't know what it, what it was called, but I think it said step-by-step -step ring mandrel or something. I just I just saw it uh, earlier when you posted it, but I didn't. You couldn't see the whole title of the listing. So now let's go ahead and clip that. We'll just cut that one. The other link is still there. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, oh, that's strange. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll check that out after. So now there we go. So this is the idea of the ring, and then you would put it. I guess on the ring cone, this is gonna be very large, I think. And, but this is just the concept, you know? So here's, here would be the ring. 
might even be a thumb ring. It's pretty big. So this is super bizarre, but I like it. So let's have a look and see what we made. What I uh, check the time too. Yeah, we're over an hour. So I'm just going to show you guys what we made. Love it. Thank you. So we did this one with the crochet and the wire. And then we did this one with the kind of corset weave and just the wire that we might fill in with beads or some other things. And um, let me just put these somewhere where we can see them. Put that there and that there. And then this one, uh, this was the rose ring. This is the one I actually didn't make on the live stream, but it's like the one we made. It just looks nicer than the other one. And then this one didn't really work with all the separate uh, wire, the separate bands, but we definitely experimented with that. So that's kind of, this is interesting what it's doing here. Anyways, I, it, I don't know, it has potential maybe. So we'll just put that one there too. So guys, that's that. I put both links on Discord. Perfect. So in post live streams, thank you, Ginger. So guys, you can hop over to um, Discord after this. And I will, uh, I'm going to hop over there now too. I'm going to take a picture of these, hop over to Discord. And Mustafa put the link to Discord. Let me find it and I can pin it if I can find it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I think he put the link to Discord up here somewhere. It was a while back. But yeah, so in Discord, you can share pictures of your work in uh, the um, share your work section, but also in the post live stream section. Uh, that's the Amazon link. I think it was further. Here's Discord. So let's pin the Discord link. So the Discord link is pinned at the top. If you want to hop over to there, I'm going to just flip my screen. I'm gonna, my internet's cutting off, so I'm just going to say goodbye. Uh, thank you guys so much for hopping on. And I will definitely see you guys in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. I'm going to hop over to Discord now. We'll see you there. And have an amazing day and an amazing night. Bye.